Right, Mark O'Sullivan is my name, Dairy Advisor in the Clannock Hilty Office. What I'm just going to look at is, is a couple of things um, in the cluster, around the cluster unit and in the milk and parlour itself and the thermogurics and I suppose sources for uh, that can be dirty. So the first thing is, you can see in the jetters, just looking around, are they actually clean? You can see in this parlour that they're very, very clean. Sometimes in the tray, you can just see the outside ring where the, the, the cluster would sit into it. See, is there, is there any dirt within that tray itself? Uh, and particularly with the caps or the, the hoods over them that you can have a build up of dirt. You will see that sometimes in the cup. At the bottom of them cups you'll see the dirt. You can see these are relatively clean but that's an area to go after because that is getting directly into the milk line. I suppose the next thing from the milk liner itself you can see is that the arrows are lining up and you can see that they are in this, um, in this cluster. So is that, that area clean and are the arrows lining up? I suppose the next thing, the obvious thing when you see cracks you can see in the cracks in one of this fella here on the pulsator line, really they need to be changed. So we shouldn't be seeing cracks that dirt can get in. It's a source, it's a source of, of, of dirt. I suppose the next thing is to look at the, the claw piece itself. I suppose first of all to look at the, see is there any filament around there. You can see when I rub my hand, it's very, very smooth. So you can see that the, that is clean. You can see dirt around the outside. Um, it's just me nearly me to open them and wipe them down that there is small bits of dirt but maybe not getting in direct contact with the milk. On the, on the glass piece itself, the first thing I go after is the rubber. So rub your hand along the outside and see is that rubber seal still in place and is it fully functional. That's the first thing there is, you can see dirt around it. The next thing you go after is, is, the, is the open and close valve. Is there dirt along the inside there? Which on these again, it's fairly clean on the inside. When you rub your hand, there's very little of that filament um, coming. I suppose th the last thing on that is the air, the air bleed. You can see in the air bleed here that it's clear how to unblock them, get a, a, a pin and just pop it out. That, that There should be an opening for that air, air pin. So we've gone through the cloth piece. The next thing I suppose is looking for obvious cracks in the rubberware. Uh, you can see that these rubberware are old. Um, you can see that this is loose. It has been taken off probably from the dump bucket. So it's loose. You put your finger in there and just how you know if rubber is where. You can see that my finger is coming out black. So that's a sure sign that the rubber is wearing. It's obvious from the, from the cracks here alone that it's wearing. The pipe here doesn't look too bad, but from the inside, it is starting to wear. Going on to a couple of farms, the silicon will last anywhere three to five times longer um, and it's much more durable that it doesn't wear. So it's wor very worth considering silicon. Um, the guys that have it in are very, very happy, well worth considering. Okay. There's two reasons not to put the hook the dump bucket line onto here. The first reason is, well, one, it's more likely to crack here um, and you don't want to crack in there. The second reason is, if you drop it from here and it falls onto the ground, you still have vacuum on that end of the line. If you take it from the actual here and that falls, so this falls from here, the vacuum is stopped here so you won't take up dirt. I suppose with the silicon piping, the other big thing on the silicon piping is the silicon doesn't contract and, ex and expand like rubber. So it's easy to put on a clip on the silicon piping here. You can't really put on them jubilee clips here, you'll rip your hand. If you're changing your plant wear, change the plant wear on this as well because it rubber the three things that wear rubber time and, and your chlorine sitting in it and the too hot of a, a descaler wash so they need to be cleaned as well regularly